Moscow again. The crew was really lovely. Made the plane ride quite nice. Great weather. It's minus 20, but it's quite sunny outside. Good start. Good start. Managed to go through customs again. And now we're on our way to the lounge where I'm gonna take a well-deserved shower. Day two of our operation. Hopefully, we get some nice shots. <laughs> On our way to the lounge for breakfast. transfer time at all but I've made it so that's good actually left left the terminal bad idea so we're here at the Hampton just about to check in and tomorrow we're off to Paris about to go to bed because it's been a gruesome day gonna be back to uh, traveling tomorrow morning our 10th flight has been up, so yeah, we grew some stuff, again, KLM was amazing today, uh, they've, <laughs> this is actually quite cool, they gave me this handwritten note that they really liked what we were doing, even though it was gaming the system a bit, but still, a uh, great flight, great experience, and yeah, more to come. Morning everyone, it's... Almost 5 a.m. In, uh, in the morning. I had about six and a half hours of sleep, so I'm feeling pretty good. Today is gonna be our 11th flight. We have three flights today. We're going to Paris first, then we go to Moscow, and then we go back to Irkutsk. And in Irkutsk, we have quite a long layover, so we're gonna uh, go into the city. And I'm, <laughs> I'm very anxious to, to, to try it out, and hopefully. We'll find a spot where I can uh, fly my drone. Yeah, just landed in Paris. And now we're back at uh, Terminal 2C. We're going to the old Air France lounge. Flight number 12. Almost ready to plane has been delayed for an hour and a half, but yeah, it's gonna be a three and a half hour flight to Moscow. And then we have about an hour and a half there left, and afterwards there's a connection to 
Siberia again. My 12th airplane food meal service. Irkutsk uh, city center. There are lots of churches like this. It's quite awesome. And that big one over there is amazing. Uh, that monument in the distance, that's the founder of Irkutsk. And here's another big church. Uh, it's uh, minus 21 outside, but it doesn't feel quite as cold, so, so it's good. So let's go explore. Just managed to, to let my drone fly for a bit. It's minus 21, so they're not built for that type of temperature. It just haywired after a minute. But it, uh, I, I think I got some decent shots, I hope. It's freezing. So yeah, minus 21, it's, it, it, it creeps up on you. So it's starting to get quite cold now, but it's fine, it's fine. We have a car, so yeah, it should be, it, we should be fine, we should be fine. This is the main square. During the winter, there's a, a, a big Christmas tree over here. And also there's lots of, uh, uh, like a, a fun fair or something. Uh, so, uh, so that's kind of cool. And now uh, it's, uh, as you can see, frozen solid. There's the hotel. And also this uh, miniature city of of Irkutsk and this looks quite awesome being snowed in completely. So over there there's a museum. Here is the in Institute of Medicine. If you can see behind me, this is so worth it. This is so worth it. Check this out. It's amazing. You can see the river, Angor, Angora River. Over there where you see the mist forming. It's still not frozen solid. You can see people fishing over there. Even if I'm freezing my ass off, I'm still quite happy about this whole situation. It looked depressing at first, but now this, this old part of the town is amazing. This is the emblem of Irkutsk. It's called uh, a babber, a babber. Sculptural image of the coat of arms of Irkutsk. Oh, it's an ancient local name for a tiger, apparently. Just for size reference, this is my hand. They've built these uh, houses, these wooden houses. They're uh, built in the old style, but they're, uh, they're completely new. Uh, 
there's all these shops inside of them. Over there, there are cemeteries uh, in the city. And this is the Baikal Street. If you follow this Good, street the straight, then you will go to uh, the Baikal Lake.